Hey guys, this is my latest model, the TX200 Rapture class main battle tank. I originally built this for TJ the Brickwright's New Republic tank contest, but I have added some improvements since then and I also came up with a small backstory. So my idea was that when the Empire retreated from the Core Worlds, the New Republic had much more resources to use, and after hiring defected QR driveyard engineers, they were able to develop a new main battle tank that combined all the knowledge from the Republic's and the Empire's previous TX-class versions, and because of its high maneuverability, it was the perfect counter to all the Empire's slow and heavy armored vehicles. Especially in swift attacks, it was very efficient due to that. When it comes to the design, I figured the New Republic would have its main influence from the Rebels, but also from the Empire since they've hired former Imperial engineers. So I really tried to mix the Rebels rounder shaped design style with the Empire's more angular style in the build, and I think it worked out pretty good. But I also wanted it to resemble tanks from our world. The front for example I wanted to look like the Yak Panther, with the angled armor plating to make it harder for shots to come through. And the turret was inspired by the Abrams tank, but also by main battleship turrets, which have a similar shape with those range-finding parts sticking out on the sides. Here I just added some laser guns. As for the colors, I took inspiration from the E-Wing, which I believe is the only New Republic vehicle we've seen so far. It has lots of white and blue and a bit of gray, but here I decided to add some more gray because I just think it looks better than having only blue and white. Now let's get to the details. Starting with these front armor plates, my idea is that they distract incoming projectiles and protect everything behind them. I also added some headlights right here. And up here along this gray stripe that continues all the way up to the back of the turret, there's the main gun. It's supposed to be a laser cannon so it doesn't shoot projectiles, it gets its energy from the reactor inside the tank, so the crew doesn't have to store any ammunition inside the turret. Moving on to the sides, they are very smooth and rounded, just to make the tank not look too imperial. Normally tanks would have tracks here, but this one moves with repulsor lifts. To get that effect I added some wheels down here, so it really looks like the tank is hovering above ground when driving. These ones here are supposed to be some deflector shields. I thought they'd be very strong and produce a lot of heat, so there are lots of cooling panels underneath. I also put this sign here so troopers who walk next to the vehicle don't get too close to that. Onto the back there are thrusters, which is unusual in Star Wars, at least for tanks, but I thought why not, it makes sense to add thrusters to make it go really fast, especially since I imagine the New Republic uses their tanks for surprise attacks. I'm not completely sure though how fast it would go, but probably faster than tanks in our world because it doesn't have any friction with the ground. Now here you can take off this panel and Open this ramp to access the interior where the tank commander sits. I'd imagine he would climb in through the ramp uh, on the back, just like on the Bradley tank. In here there are some control panels. He doesn't have a direct view to the outside, but he's shown a 3D image of his surroundings on these orange screens right here. Moving to the turret, there are dual purpose guns on the sides that can shoot all the way up to the sky to defend against air attacks but uh, they can also be used against infantry or lightly armored ground vehicles. Up here is where the tank gunner sits. You can remove this panel right here and open the hatches to get better access. He's got it pretty comfy in there and he also has electronic targeting controls and all that stuff. But he can also aim right through the periscope right here in case the electronics fail. Uh, you just have to close the hatch again. And another cool little detail here on the side is the logo of the New Republic. It's a custom printed tile designed by Melnick Edits, who also helped me with a few things in the build, so big shout out to him. He also designed these awesome looking custom minifigures right here, which I made my own tank crew with. You can buy all of this on hallofbricks.com, I linked it in the description down below. And if you want the instructions for this model, you can buy them on my Rebrickable for 10 bucks each. The parts should cost around 35 to 55 euros, but there are quite some basic parts in there that you might already have, so the price shouldn't be that high in the end. And yeah, also huge thanks to everyone who supports me. If it's here on YouTube, over on Instagram or on Rebrickable, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.